What up, everybody? My name is Mr. Thraz, and uh, today I'm going to give everybody an example of uh, what I call the uh, Roland SP-606 Quick Chop. Uh, now, um, I have ripped a sample from some vinyl. I've actually ripped the whole song, and I've put it here on this Ardor timeline. Now, we see here, here is uh, my MIDI out. Uh, for the SP-606 and it's going into a adapter that I wrote to uh, line up its um, MIDI pads with standard stuff and uh, all that MIDI is going out into Arter's MCC MMCN so it can understand uh, uh, any MIDI commands that uh, control commands that come in now Arter does understand these commands and one of the big drawbacks of having any SP except the 202 is that it, it won't do any time stretch. The 606 actually does do time stretch, but it, it, it really sucks. Anyway, uh, great thing about it is any hardware or software you have that does stuff, you know, it can grab that and put it on a pad. And uh, one of the things I want to do here is I want to grab all this, this, this music here and I want to chop it. Now, I could just put it in my record player, uh, get it from my record player, and sample it directly to a pad. And Now, if I did that, it would take me anywhere from, you know, 5 to 15 minutes. Which isn't obsessively long, but, you know, it's long enough where I might lose my groove. And, you know, I don't want to do that sometimes. And a lot of times, I just want to you know get the music in there so I can get going and here this quick chop uh, really helps it really shines okay so we see that the playhead is placed on the snare uh, our uh, tempo is a uh, rough estimate of the tempo of the song so here we go here we go and I can see here that everything is lined up I just want to go and play uh, press external sequence sample I want to choose external sequence sample hit it it's gonna ask me to select the pad I select the pad okay so it's asking me if I want it mono left and right I want it mono left because I don't want to use up a lot of my polyphony don't have a lot on this machine Okay, I want to get it the same tempo as the track. Which I have at 87.5. I wanted to get it down to one beat and on 4-4. Four, four. Okay, then I'll hit start. All right, it stopped automatically. Now it went a little bit uh, beyond where my um, next marker is, but that's okay. I just press the back arrow, get it lined up again, hit sample, hit it again, choose the next pad, start. Go ahead and go back, hit sample. Choose the next pad, start, hit back, hit sample, hit it again, choose the next pad, start, go back, already. Already it's starting to take shape. All right, so Go ahead, we can do it again. You know, on and on and on and on until we have all the banks filled. 